Welcome to this section of the NEXT Public Health Professionals Modules. This group of modules will help you learn how to find high quality information on the web that you can apply to program development, policy writing, and grant writing. This project has been funded with federal funds from the National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Our objectives for Module 1 of this section are to review the PICO format and examine the process of internet searching for public health questions. Remember that searching can be a cyclical process. We start with a question, select a resource to search, then formulate and conduct our search. Based on our results, we may have to circle back and reframe our question and or try other resources in order to move forward. Let's do a quick refresher on asking the question with the PICO format. PICO helps us to focus on the concepts to use in our search. Before we do our search, we need to figure out who our population is, what intervention we're using, what we want to compare it to, and the outcome of interest. In some cases, a comparison could be no treatment at all or the current standard of care. Here's our example. Does sexually transmitted infection, or STI, education via social media decrease risky behaviors and incidence of STIs among high school students when compared to current education? Keep in mind that all research is not equal. Many people visualize the strength of research evidence by using a pyramid such as this one, with reviews of evidence at the top. At the base of the pyramid, we have expert opinion, which might include editorials or literature reviews. However well written, they may lack strong evidence. Next up on the pyramid, we have non-experimental research. Qualitative research, retrospective studies, and case studies go here. Qualitative research is sometimes the best resource for understanding your population or community and may provide excellent information on underrepresented groups, since clinical trials may not be inclusive or representative of the entire population. Next up the pyramid, we have experimental research. This is often more clinical and includes randomized controlled trials. These may be rigorous studies, but they are still only a single study. At the top of the pyramid, we have reviews of evidence. These go through existing research systematically to compare and contrast results. Systematic reviews and guidelines are generally considered the highest level of evidence because they look at an entire body of evidence, not just one study. We will focus on sources that provide this type of evidence. You may also be familiar with the 6S pyramid developed by DeCenso, Bailey, and Haynes with single studies on the bottom, synopses in the middle, above that summaries, which include best practice guidelines and summaries of syntheses with expert opinion on a topic to create recommendations for practice. At the top of the 6S pyramid are systems, which are usually more individually focused and generally not available for public health. So we won't be discussing those here. Synthesized evidence, such as guidelines and systematic reviews, allows you to see the landscape of evidence rather than read through individual studies. In these modules, we will focus on sources to search for best practice guidelines and summaries, systematic reviews, or reviews of evidence for public health. Once you have found a guideline or systematic review, it may be helpful to search for newer individual studies. PubMed is a source to search for those an earlier module in the next series shows you how to search that database. Public Health Plus is another site you might want to use. You will find a link to that on the next Public Health Professionals portal. While searching, you may want to use Boolean operators. These operators or conjunctions are used to assist in the search. See the circles known as Venn diagrams on the screen and combines terms. It's where the circles overlap. So if you search for systematic reviews on diet and exercise in weight loss, 
both concepts must appear in the review. OR gives you more. You'll get results featuring either term. This is both circles completely filled in. So you will see reviews that are about diet or about exercise, but not necessarily both in the same review. NOT eliminates a term. Say that you don't want a certain aspect of something covered. Use NOT if you want to see reviews on diet only and NOT exercise and weight loss. Only one circle is filled in except the part that overlaps. There are a few other tips for searching depending on where you're looking. You may be able to use limits and filters. If so, you can often narrow down your search by publication date, whether it's peer-reviewed or by a certain age group. It can also help to put phrases in quotation marks. This tells the website to search for that exact phrase. Remember that searching can be a cyclical process. We start with a question and based on our results, we may have to circle back and reframe our question in order to move forward. In the next section, we'll talk about how to choose the resources.